Alrighty, so I've been wanting to make this video for a while, I just haven't yet, haven't had time, and haven't been able to figure out how to get OBS to work, so I finally got it, and now I want to do this tour video of the club that I wanted to do for a while, just never got around to. So here's Spawn, you spawn here inside the Twin Peaks Sheriff Department. Over here in this room is the crafting room with all the benches and the dragon crucible. Um, over here, it's like a little conference room that they had in the sheriff station with all of the um, club donors. So we have our donor list over here. Um, and this is Lucy's office. She has her flower from Dick and Andy. <laughs> Why are these up here? What are you doing? Oh yeah, it's members that are going on vacation. Here's our announcement board thing. Here's the interrogation room where um, Agent Cooper interrogated Bobby. Here is essentially Leland's cell. <laughs> and down here you have the cells that Mike, Bobby, and James were in. Out here, you have police car, you have the portals to other areas, so you have member building islands, club islands, so we have the soccer area, um, a music area that we're making, um, there's a Twin Peaks character pixel art area, and there's like my islands and stuff, um, just the adventure portals, um, the PvP arena that we're gonna have up soon, hopefully within the next week, and then... This is to the Architect Islands. Over here we have the donor leaderboard. So we have Headless Fat Man, Radiant Light, and Age of Doom. Once you get out here, there's the Welcome to Twin Peaks sign. Um, there's Laura's house. So Palmer Residence, 708 33rd Street, Twin Peaks, Washington. Their kitchen, where Sarah was crying. <laughs> the living room. Dining room. Go upstairs, and you have Leland and Sarah's room, which wasn't ever seen, so this wasn't really canon, but yeah. And then we have Laura's room, which we tried our best, but there's not that many decorations available in games, so it's hard. Um, there's the ceiling fan, and over here we have an attic, which isn't canon, but we just wanted to have a shadow tower portal up here. <laughs> and then you go back down. Over here, if you go this way, you have the double R. Go inside, there's the jukebox. Um, we had a little gumball machine, and there's cakes, and coffee, and all kinds of stuff. Back here's the kitchen. Back here in this little corner, you have Shocker Nose Cabin. Um, so there's Waldo up there in the little cage, his little cabin. There's the um, record player that kept skipping and playing over and over again. Over here, if you go this way, you have Big Ed's gas farm with his little car repair area. All repairs strictly cash. Um, and then you have his big sign. Go inside and there's drinks and stuff. Um, there's a car that he's repairing. There's a little desk. Um, there's um, a little quote from one of the parts where Ed's like, Norma, I told you not to call me here. Um, and then there's a little flower that he's going to deliver to Norma at the double R. Just lots of little Easter eggs and stuff. Um, over here you have the train car that Laura and Ronette were in. And then you have the little note 
Um, this is the pile of dirt that the necklace was on top of. Over here you have um, the area where Pete found Laura's body and here is Laura. <laughs> Go over here. This is how you get up to the the um, Great Northern. We'll deal with that later. Um, this is... I'll explain it in a bit. I'll go to the roadhouse first. So, here's the roadhouse. The bar. Here's the stage that the giant was on. Whoops. The, it's happening again. Um, here's the table that Laura was at when she was being all depressing and she's like, so, you want to fuck the homecoming queen? <laughs> Just being all depressing. Alright, um, tch -tch. we have a few secret areas and I will go to one of them for the video. This is, um, Glastonbury Grove. It's where the entrance to the Black Lodge is. Um, well, Red Room. Since in season three, things have been explained that the Red Room may not be the Black Lodge. Um, you have a little quote from Hawk. It said that if you confront the Black Lodge with imperfect courage, it'll utterly annihilate your soul. So you jump down into the mud and you're dropped into the Black Lodge. So you have <coughs> this room and then Cooper went down a hall and he found another identical room. So you're in the same spot. We added a third room off this one um, just for a season three thing um, we have the evolution of the arm and it just says the evolution of the arm I added that a few weeks ago after that episode aired um, so things are probably gonna change as the season progresses so that's not really a secret area but not many people go there here's one of the secret areas I don't know why it's like in plain sight but nobody notices it um, I know that the um, pink room, I'm pretty sure, was across the Canadian border as well as One-Eyed Jack's, but we had it underneath the roadhouse just because simplicity, so its location isn't canon, but here's pink room. Go up, and then you have Owl Cave, which we turned into a maze so you can get to the bottom of Owl Cave and at the bottom of Owl Cave once you um, go through and um, you rotate the little thing with the owl symbol at the end um, you actually reach Major Briggs secret military base and I know that his secret base was never shown in the original series and it hasn't yet in season 3 but at the end of this maze is um, a a little non-canon easter egg that we've created with his base and whatnot. And go up here and you go to the Great Northern Hotel, Benjamin and Jerry Horn's hotel. So you get in and you have the front desk, you have the little area with chairs and a table that Leland was crying at when um, Harry told him still working? Yeah, it is. I don't know what my computer did. Sorry, that freaked me out. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, where, um, where Harry told him that, um, Laura died. Sorry. What are you doing? Why isn't it working? Oh, it's you. Get out of here. All right. So here you have a wanted poster. Have you seen this man? And it's a little poster. It's supposed to be the poster of Bob. Here you have the stage for where the Miss Twin Peaks contest was. You have a little bar area. You have some tables and chairs. You have the um, diner area where Cooper was sitting when he first met Audrey. You have a little kitchen. And then you have Cooper's quote. Um, and you go downstairs and you will get to the rooms. So here's office of Benjamin Horn. You have Ben Horn's office. Um, I'll throw in another secret area too, I don't mind. Um, if you go past these posters, you can actually walk through them. You can get to Audrey's little area where she used to spy on um, Horn. 
So it's just her little secret area. Um, all the rooms are identical. So, other than Cooper's. So, this is what all the rooms looked like other than Coop's room. Is this one Coop's room? No, it's not. His is on the next floor, I think. So you have all these. They're all the same. Can't find his room. Where did I put it? Here's a storage area. We've never put anything in it yet. But eventually that's going to be where we have storage stuff. So yeah, all the rooms are identical. Oh, here's Coop's room. What was I saying? So here you have Coop's room and 315. You have a slightly bigger and nicer room than the other ones. There's his TV. Around here is where he got shot by Josie Packard. Here you have the bathroom where he hit his head on the mirror right there. Um, not much else at the Great Northern to show. Um, Great Northern Hotel. And then here's just a nice spot to look out from because it has everything. It's pretty. Over here, it's definitely not a secret area, but not many people go to the south side, even though I like the south side better. Here's like an express way to get there. It just bounces you across super fast. Um, oh no, the south side's just bigger. It has a lot cooler stuff. Over here, you have Leo and Shelly's house. So... You have their living room. You have the ashtray where he's like, you're only going to smoke one kind of cigarettes around here. Um, you have a little bedroom for them. Small house, because they had a small house. Um, over here you have the gazebo that James and Donna were at. And the little, um, the little pier type thing that James and Maddie were at when he said goodbye to her. Here you have a lake. Um, here you have the Packard sawmill. So, lots of wood. Here's um, the saws. And then it transports the wood on a sort of railroad system out to the outside. Upstairs you have Josie's office. And that's it. Um, you have, oh, Harry. <laughs> Um, let's see, go down. Over here you have the Packard house. So, not everything in here is canon, but, like, they didn't have a pool table in the original, but. Um, here is the kitchen area where Pete goes out the back door to go fishing and finds Laura's body. Over here is Pete's library and a huge thing with um, fish trophies. Hopefully I'll get more eventually. Um, this is Josie's bedroom since she lives there too. But um, upstairs you have Pete and Catherine's room. So this is their bedroom. Outside you have a little balcony. Over here you have Fat Truck Trailer Park in the back. Here is Carl's um, sort of office slash trailer. So you have the sign that says, Do not ever disturb before 9 a.m. ever. Um, simple little trailer. Um, here you have Teresa Banks' old trailer that she lived in. And here's just another trailer that's in Fat Trout Trailer Park. Over here, you have One-Eyed Jacks. Um, I'm still building over here, so it's the structure's completed, but the rooms are empty. 
I just did a tiny bit of decorating at the front, but I haven't finished like the chandelier and stuff, so there's not much to show there. Here's the One-Eyed Jack sign. Um, so it says, Welcome to One-Eyed Jacks. Here is a sign that says, Welcome to Canada, since One-Eyed Jacks is across the border. Over here is Twin Peaks High School. So you have, um, you have the, <coughs> the case that all the trophies were in and, um, the picture of Laura. Over here you have the pin, um, sorry, the pinata, the, um, <laughs> principal's office. We used to have a pinata in here. So this is the principal's office. Um, here's the library that, um, they took Bobby into at first when they were asking him about the murder of Laura. Here's a classroom. The classrooms are pretty generic. They look all the same. Um, lockers. More lockers. Another classroom. Let's see. Um, you have a bathroom here. Here's the back of um, the high school with like a little quad area. And they have finished building back here. Um, if you go upstairs, there is um, a storage room another classroom let's see oh here's the convenience store we um actually built this before season three ever came out so we never saw the actual convenience store until about two weeks ago so it looks a bit different than um the actual convenience store i might change it eventually so you go inside, you never see the inside of the convenience store. It's always just flashing white lights. But we just put some um, like liquor cabinets in here. A little checkout area. But um, that part's not really important. We just wanted to build it since they live above the convenience store. So you go up. Go in through the back door, and you have the area where the jumping man, the woodsman, um, the magician, uh, the little man from another place, where everyone was. Um, see, this is um, a little man from another place. Um, oh yeah, there's also Tresman's um, grandson. Then she comes up here, and then you have a few quotes like, "This is a formica table. Green is its color." Mike, when he was talking about the ring in the table jump off of here. If you go over here, you'll get a good view of the two mountains. Go over here and you have the home of Miss Tresman and the magician, which is her grandson. So you have their house, you have their living room, their bedroom. Over here you have Harold Smith's home and garden, since like half of his house is his, um, for his orchids. So he has a tiny little bedroom, really plain. He has a big library where he writes all the stories of the people he's met. Like, get a copy of Laura's diary. He started one with Donna. Um, <laughs> there's a few quotes. And then you have his, um, uh, where he kept his orchids and stuff. And then there is his letter that he wrote um, in the first season. It's not a letter. His little note. There, that's better. That's pretty much everything here. Um, we're expanding and doing more stuff to the south of this island. Um, like there's a music island where there's um, Laura's theme. I'll show that one. So Adventure Portals, um, Club Islands. So there's my Twin Peaks character art. There's Mag Music, Soccer Field and Pinata Pit, and um, How to Make Mag Music. So if you go here, you're dropped into where I have my mag music. This is um, not completed. I barely started it and I need to fix it. But this one is going to end up being the Twin Peaks theme, not Laura's theme. But And 
and then um, I need to repeat that again. I accidentally put the um, next two measures by accident, but I need to fix that. I will eventually. And here you have, um, yeah, the intro for this is really long and the way that the blocks and instruments are in Trove, it's really hard to get it to work and sound right. And um, you can't really set the speed, so the speed's a little bit slower than it should be. But um, you have the intro to Laura's theme. I'm going to skip past most of this because it's mostly the same. And I'm impatient right now. I don't want this video to be too long. Alright, so skip to here. So here's where you almost get to the um, main part of the song. And then you have the outro. Um, let's see. And um, that's about it. That's the tour. Um, there's a bunch of secret spots here that I didn't go into. Like, I didn't go to the secret base. Um, there's actually the book house, but only one person has ever found it. And they found it by accident because they, um, they followed me there. <laughs> um, but um, that's super hard to find. There's all kinds of Easter eggs. So um, if you really like Twin Peaks, you should make a Trove account just to hang out here and stuff. There's not many people that actually watch the show in this club. Like, it's a pretty big club. We have, like, 600 members right now. Yeah. So I think max is 750. So it'd be nice to have more people that actually know about the show because I feel like you can't really appreciate how all of this looks really until you've seen the actual versions and you can see like how close everything is. Oh and here's um the stoplight that James was at. Other than that um that's it that's all I really wanted to do just a little tour to show people around um and that's it so I'm going to stop recording for now. We'll probably make another video doing a tour of a new area that we'll have in a bit.